Okay, everybody. So this tutorial is to show you a scan ladder case where we've scanned an entire denture object. Now to fill you in on the background, I'm going to show you how things look once we've scanned in the scanning tutorial. This can be applied, these principles, with any scanner, any, um, any source, bringing it into MeditLink. Uh, the Medit Tools app is really great for this. And to give you a little bit of background, if I turn off the normal maxilla base, here we go, you can see that this uh, edentulous uh, scan here, that is totally out of sync with the denture scan here. And if I turn that off, there we go. So there's just the pre-op there that's scanned for that. And we've got the denture base that is scanned with the bite. So the occlusion is, is recorded with the denture in place, okay? And the reason why we can do that, if we scan, in this case, obviously, this is an upper opposing a lower that's uh, in transition. So wh what I've done is in the upper scan, I've scanned that denture in its entirety. So around the sides, over the palatal side, and also on the fitting surface here. And you can see there's a couple of little miss bits, but that doesn't really matter for the purposes of what I'm gonna show you. Um, this denture is scanned in its entirety so that we can then uh, capture the opposing arch and then use the left and the right bites to uh, capture the OVD. So we've got now the complete prosthetic envelope. We've got the uh, occlusion um, with the OVD to the opposing arch uh, with exactly where we want this fitting surface to be. And the common question you see online, how do we then match up the uh, fitting surface and also the scan ladder surface? So if I turn this off, turn this on and I'll turn the mandible off. So you can see we've got the additional data scan, the scan ladder scan, which I have matched up with that edentulous scan. So both of those are wrong. I'm gonna show you how to match these with this denture so that it brings it up and matches in with this super, super quick and easy. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to Medit Design. Now I'm running this on a MacBook, but this runs on Windows too. And you have to install from the App Store, the Medit Tools, uh, Medit Design, I should say, uh, app here that pops up. So once you're in the case, and you can use this with scans that you've brought in, say we've set up a new case with Medit Link, and we attach scans here on the top right. There are other tutorials that I've done where that will be uh, gone over there. Um, but if we attach anything in to bring it in, it can be STLs, OBJ, whatever, then we can use the same protocol to match everything in. It's super nice and easy. So now we know what we've got. Let's see how we're gonna take this scan and turn it into an aligned whole object. So we're gonna load up Medit Design. We're gonna bring in, okay, the additional data. We're gonna bring in the mandibular data, the denture, and the gingival scan, okay? So, let's bring those in. Okay, so we've got all of the data here, and you can see we went over this before when it was in Medit Link Direct. Now, let's explain what the process is here. We're going to align, if I turn off the mandible, we're going to align the edentulous data and the scan ladder scan with the inner surface of this denture. Now, we can't do that at present because this denture is scanned in its entirety. The surface of this denture is facing the wrong way. Now, what I mean by that, let's turn it off and turn the scan ladder off so you can see what I mean. This edentulous data you can see is, is dark here on the inside. There's no color. The, sur the active surface is on the outside. We need to align this with a surface that's orientated the same way. If I turn that off and I turn on the denture, this is one solid object and the inside that you can see through this little hole is orientated the wrong way, but the surface of the denture, the fitting surface here, that's 
pointing outwards. It's, it's activating the wrong way. So we can't align to that because if we try and align to it, it's going to try and flip it over. So it's very, very simple of what we're going to do with this. To get it to align with this, we just need to switch the data over. So the denture that we've scanned in its entirety, we're just going to click reverse data, tell it we're going to switch that over, click confirm, bang. That's now, or the surface of this is orientated the other way. Okay, so if we look through the little hole, you can see. You can see the inside of that. Now, the color map from that scan is showing on the inside of this. So what does that mean? It means now that this is the same as this. Yeah, can you see it? So that's dark, that's dark, okay? So that the surface that we want to align to, this surface, will now align with the inner surface of this. So all we need to do is then go through into this little tool here, alignment mode. We're going to choose the target as those two scans because they're aligned. They can both go in here and they're going to move in the same way. We're going to choose this denture base as the reference. That's going to stay static. That has to stay static because that's where the OVD is, okay? The occlusal vertical dimension we want to keep the same from the byte that we recorded. So that needs to stay in the exact same place. These two are going to align to that. So I'm going to click confirm. And then let's try it automatically. Align and data, bang. There we go. Nice and easy. Let's rotate it. Let's have a look. And yep. That is all beautifully aligned, okay? So that's all now aligned to the inner surface of that denture. Obviously, we want to bring this in the right way around so we can come out of alignment mode. We can go back to the tools and we can reverse the data again of that denture. I click confirm and there we have it. So we've got the denture in place that is now aligned perfectly with that surface data that we've scanned from the edential surface. And everything is all in the correct place. If I turn that off, turn the scan ladder scan on, everything's in the right place. Everything's aligned. If you want to make sure, you could realign one of those two, but that's aligning with the same process during the scan. So now we need to go out of here. I'm just going to click complete, overwrite the existing files. And if we go back into Medit Link, once it's exported, it should show everything in the correct position again. So we're going to click Exit Program up to Saving. Here we go. And now if you look, everything is aligned perfectly. If I turn on the mandibular scan here, we've got the OVD. We've got that byte that's registered with the denture. We've aligned the two edentialist scans automatically. And now we have everything that we can export, take into XCAD, and we can use the prosthetic envelope from that denture scan with the correct OVD between the scan ladder scan for the markers, the edentulous scan of the gingiva, and we can use that to do a beautiful direct to multi-unit using those scan ladders and have a very nice restoration. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Plenty more to come. Cheers, guys.